Hi everyone, so if you're looking to get a trusted color guard rifle and want to know more about the classic King rifle, then keep watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox the rifle, show you the ins and outs of the King, and give you my review on how it spins. But before I do that, please like and subscribe so you can catch the next product unboxing and review. I'll be doing more of them so you won't want to miss out. Here we go! The King is the most famous family-owned made rifle on the market. This particular model currently ranges from 32 to 4150. Their all wooden rifles are made the same way and use the same exact popular wood. They come in 36, 37, and 39 inches in length. There is an option for gold, silver, or black bolts. Also, you can get a black, white, or even a tan leather strap. All right, here's the new King rifle. It just came into the mail. Thank you so much, Designs by King, for providing this rifle for the review. I'm gonna start opening this up and see what we have. This packaging is done really well, so um, it's gonna protect the gun, so that's good. Ooh. Here is the new rifle. They gave you a little um, instructions on how to tape your rifle. So this is pretty useful. If you know how to tape a rifle, they provide these directions for you and they're basically saying like, um, you know, tape them at the highest impact points um, for reinforcements. Um, so this is very useful. Give this a read, make sure you tape it up nicely. I got a unscrew everything so I can tape the rifle up. Um, I'll do that right now and then I'll give you a little look, see at each component of the rifle itself. And I just think this is kind of cool. Like it, they print a date of when this was made. So this rifle was born on August 13th, 2020. Let's look at each part individually. So the wood stock of the rifle is very nice. It has this nice rough texture to it, which might be beneficial if you're spinning something that's an environment that's kind of wet or you know foggy or moist, dewy, that might allow you to have a better grip. The nose pad and the butt pads are like foam, but they're like a different kind of styrofoam um, that you might see on other rifles. And they are already um, stapled gunned into there. So they ain't coming out unless they're ripped out. So that's pretty nice. Here is the King rifle strap. It looks beautiful. It's nice and thick. I can tell this is really, really sturdy leather. So it's not gonna break anytime soon. We can see that the uh, little pieces of hardware on both ends are sturdy metal and the little clips right here are already in for you. You might wanna adjust them to whatever length or tightness you want on the gun of the, of the rifle. The screws they came with are pretty standard. And then we have the rifle bolt, which is exclusive to King. And the plastic is pretty nice and thick. All right, now it's time to tape this all together. Alright, so after spinning this rifle, I gotta tell you, I really like it. The weight of the gun, it isn't too light and it isn't too heavy. So that's really good. It's kind of like a medium type of weight. The width of the gun isn't too big or isn't too bulky. It's not really that skinny, but it's like a normal size, I would say. If you spun rifle a lot, this is kind of like the medium um, width of it. I can put my hands around it fine. Um, if you have smaller hands, it might be a little bit more difficult, but I wouldn't say it'd be too bad. Um, the only con I would say is the strap is really well made. So well made, in fact, that it might be harder for you to break it in, but that just means that you gotta spin more often so you can stretch it out a little bit, but that's not really a con. So if you're looking to get a rifle that is a standard size, um, good weight and 
great quality, I would go for the King Rifle. You're gonna be very pleased with the quality that this rifle gives. Thanks so much for watching. If you found any of this information helpful, please like and subscribe. It'll really help me out. And also let me know in the comments section below what other product reviews you'd like me to do. See you next time.